Welcome to this Australian Earth Science Education video about mining exploration. Finding mineral resources is difficult and costly. Collecting a drill core to analyze costs about $100,000, and the analysis costs thousands more. For this reason, exploration geologists use free online data to search for promising sites. A gravity survey shows areas of high gravity in red and low gravity in blue. Dense minerals like gold and iron create areas of slightly higher gravity. Magnetic surveys detect magnetic minerals, such as iron. Pyrite, or iron sulfide, is associated with many valuable ore deposits. If hunting for gold, you would look for overlap of magnetic and gravity data. In the area near Orange, both signals overlap at the site of highly profitable gold mines in New South Wales, Cadia Valley Operations and North Parks. In this activity, we will model geophysical surveys using a multimodal stud finder. The stud setting models a gravity survey and the metal setting models a magnetic survey. You can make an exploration box using a box filled with foam containing rocks and real ore or a metal jar lid. Tape a large sheet of paper on top of the box and mark a corner to calibrate the stud finder. Use the stud setting to model a gravity survey. Scan the box, marking areas where the signal is strongest. Aerial surveys use a regular back and forth scanning pattern. This is a good idea when simulating the activity too. Results will be better if the stud finder is frequently calibrated and boundaries checked twice. Draw the approximate shapes of the deposits that gave a strong signal, then repeat your scanning on the metal setting. This models a magnetic survey. Your stud finder should show a smaller number of metal areas. In real life, these would be the area where magnetic and gravity surveys overlapped. If you don't have an exploration box, you can use a desk or table with a block of wood and a jar lid or piece of alfoil taped underneath. First, tape your item under the table, cover with a large sheet of paper, and scan as with the box using both the stud and metal settings on the stud finder. You will notice that this table scan was less accurate than with the box. How close are your scans to reality? In my scan of the table, the stud finder detected the metal table edge. I also got readings from the plastic tape I used to attach the wooden block. The scans are not incredibly accurate. In any scientific investigation, it is important to know the accuracy of your equipment. In real world mining exploration, you would pick the center of the overlap area to begin physical surveys. We hope you've enjoyed this Oz EarthEd video about mining exploration. For instructions on making and using an exploration box or using real data from MinView, see our website at ozearthed.com.au. You will also find videos, blog posts, and resources about many topics in earth and environmental science there.